Many people are being killed, sir. And you don't care? What are we going to do to stop the killing in Gaza? Well, I think that uh, over time that's going to happen. And uh, it's. Uh, over time, it's been over 100 days now. Yeah, and I think that until Hamas, I think, is. Gives itself up. Uh, that's what it well, Hamas so. is not going to give itself up, and it's women and children, the majority of people being killed every day, and now they're being starved. People are starving. Have you seen the reports? No, I know none of that. Uh, obviously, is uh, good, but uh, it was all put into motion back on October seventh. No, Hamas, no, no, so. no. This is a decades of repression that people in Palestine have been living under, and we can't let all these women and children be killed. Well, you have people here who are from Palestine. My people are being killed, sir. You don't care? You do have the power to affect change. It's just a ceasefire. Just they just want a ceasefire right now. You have nothing to say about my people? You shouldn't be killing civilians with American women. It's okay to kill over 30,000 people, sir. What if it was your family? They're very under I guess your re no response is a response, sir, huh? Thanks for your humanity. What are we going to do about uh, the massacre that's happening in Gaza? Well, which one? The one where the Hamas killed uh, all of the uh, Israelis? No, the I one where the uh, come home. Israeli bombs that we send are killing 24,000 civilians, mostly women and children. Well, Hamas shouldn't hide behind women and children. But yeah. you're okay with killing women and no, children. I, How many people not. have to die before you will say enough? What are you going to do? Call for a ceasefire. Well, I don't have to answer you. So you'll never call for a ceasefire? I said that. Well, when? When I think it's appropriate. When will that be? I think we should stop the killing of Israelis and Palestinians. Well, right now it's U.S. bombs that are killing Thank you. Palestinians. Thank are you. Me, I'm going to my this? office. Sir, Thank how many you. civilians in Gaza will die before you call for a ceasefire? Uh, I'm going into a... Do you have an answer for that? There have been 24,000 killed already. I'm very much hoping that we will have an end to the conflict, lower intensity right away more humanitarian aid and a two-state solution. Well, there won't be humanitarian aid unless there's a ceasefire. Why don't you call for a ceasefire? So here we are waiting because a supervisor for the uh, police want to talk to us. And I think it's because we tried to talk to Senator Menendez and asked him when what we can do to stop all the killing in Gaza. We are trying all avenues. First of all, everything we do is peaceful, 100%. And we try through the avenues that are given to us to call offices, visit offices, get appointments. It's very, very difficult to get an appointment with the staff members. So this is our way of trying to reach the people who represent us to ask them a simple question. And it really is sad that here in the Senate that's supposed to represent us, the people People who are in favor of killing are the ones who have the power and the people like us who want to see an end to the killing are harassed, stopped, arrested. Um, it's, it's just all upside down. I feel like our First Amendment rights are not being upheld and I feel that it's our right to hold our leaders accountable and what they're doing with our money, our taxes overseas is completely egregious and it needs to be stopped. We need to stop the senseless killing of civilians in Palestine, in Gaza, and we need our funds to be held here for the resources for our communities and the issues that face Americans every day.